in August, I did a review of Dusk, a first-person shooter that is heavily inspired by other classic first-person shooters like Blood, Redneck Rampage, Quake, Half-Life, Doom, and more. Well, like a lot of games in this modern time, updates happen and Dusk 1.0 is out and the release of Episode 3. So I figured it was time to revisit Dusk, and I'm sure later on there will be more updates. And when those come out, I'll save those for Let's Plays and so on. So if you haven't seen my review, well, I'll give you a quick rundown once again. Dusk was developed by David Szymanski and published by New Blood Interactive, and it first hit Steam in January of 2018. You will fight through cultists, militants, mutated monsters, and more through now three episodes using weapons like sickles, swords, crossbows, rifles, dual-wielding double-barrel shotguns, pistols, machine guns, and of course, grenades, rocket launchers, and so on. Not only that, there is an endless survival mode where you can go against waves and waves of enemies. If you like multiplayer, there is an online multiplayer mode known as Dusk World, where you can go up against friends or whoever. So the third episode is called The Nameless City, and you go through an underground hell-like area after you're in a cathedral. There's a variety of enemies, lava, and pretty much it looks like you're in hell. And it's fucking great, ranging from the areas you can go around, the surprise-like sections with a shitload of enemies, and how open the areas can get. It's just all fucking great. Endless mode seems even better this time around since I last played it. Also, the cathedral map is very open. There's a shitload of enemies, a shitload of weapons, and so on. It makes it just crazy as hell. This map was released around Halloween. So now there are three Endless Arena maps. And besides, this map was a little taste of Episode 3 and the enemies. Hell, there's even a tornado. A huge fucking tornado that wipes out the cathedral, and it's just fucking crazy. Now, when it comes to online, I was able to get into a German server, and holy shit, it's fast-paced, fun, ridiculous, in a good way, and I got my ass handed to me as well, which is fine as far as I'm concerned, because I don't take this game serious, and I still had a blast. Once again, the graphics look fucking great, the game runs really smooth as well, the enemies are awesome, the level designs are amazing, the music is still kicking as much ass as ever, Andrew Holschel absolutely slaughtered this soundtrack, the controls are damn good, I suggest playing this with a keyboard and mouse, but if you want to play with a controller, there is full controller support. Also, there is a new enemy that is in the game as well. I almost forgot to mention that. It's known as Cart Dog, which is a dog on a cart or in a cart with a rocket launcher strapped to it. I don't know who came up with the idea of that enemy, but that's fucking hilarious. Dusk is fucking amazing. A damn good retro-inspired first-person shooter that takes all that we love in classic first-person shooters and put them into one game. I can't wait to do more videos ranging from endless mode, online, and maybe even a playthrough style Let's Play. And who knows what else is going to happen with this game. I'm sure David Szymanski and New Blood Interactive have some great things coming. If you want to pick up Dusk, it's $20 on Steam, and I think that is a perfect price for this game. Go pick this up. You will not be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed this Heavy Metal Gamer Revisited video of Dusk. Thanks for watching.